friends, I am here to do my March favorites. I have not done a favorites video, I want to say for about a year now, just because I don't have new favorites every month. If I like something and it works, why change it? As you guys know, I was out of the country starting March 3rd or March, March something. Uh, I got back from Costa Rica at the end of February, beginning of March, and then geared up to go to Ireland af right after that. I had only like two days here in the States and then I went to Ireland and then Amsterdam and then I just got back probably two weeks ago or a week ago. Oh, I guess a week ago. <laughs> so um, this is pretty much the favorites that I had while traveling in Europe. Also the things that I've just had with me and that I you know, I think is worthy of being in my favorites. I'm going to start off small with the smaller things and then move my way up. Okay. All right. If you guys are wondering my necklace, this is actually by my cousin May. She made this for me a while ago. She is still making chokers. I don't believe she has anything on her Etsy yet, but if you guys are interested, just go ahead and comment down below and I will go ahead and give you her uh, contact information. The gold is actually from Ireland. It says lucky on it and I thought it was, you know, gold, lucky, Irish, look at the Irish kind of thing. So yeah. The first thing I wanted to go ahead and show you guys is my Pixie It's Judy Time palette. There is that. I've only been using a couple of shades. I've been using this on my eye, this on my lower lash, a little bit of this on my lower lash as well. I've touched you know, a couple of colors here and there, but not as much as I probably should. As you guys know, she did a collab with Pixie, and this came out not too long ago, and it was sold out all over here in Washington. I remember Larry and I, we actually went to a couple Targets, and both the lip kit and the eye palette were sold out, so Larry actually ordered it online for me, so I'm so excited, and I absolutely love it. I actually took this with me and it just has all the neutral colors that you need along with a couple satin colors and black with iridescent colors in there so you can, you know, mix it up a little bit. The next thing that I have are actually high definition pressed powders. They're just white powders that you use when you're feeling a little bit oily. So you do a little blotch blotch and then you do uh, white over your makeup so that you don't look so oily. You guys know me, I have oily oily ass skin. The first thing that I have is Makeup Forever HD pressed powder. There is that. And uh, this is just uh, micro finish pressed powder is what it is. It has a good size mirror. But it's just a white powder that you go ahead and put so that it can mattify your look if it's in the middle of the day towards the end of the night and you just need a little refresher without having to take off your makeup and redo it. This is a little bit on the pricey side. I'm not sure how much it is, but I know that it is on Sephora. So I have here a dupe, or not really a dupe, but just something that's on a more affordable scale because you guys know me. I am a drugstore person. So this is the Wet n Wild Fergie uh, Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. It's a little beat up because this is in my um, makeup bag quite a lot, but there is that. You can't even see it anymore, but it says Wet n Wild Fergie, and it's a little deceiving because the packaging makes it look like it's the whole thing, but when you open it up, just that little thing, but yeah. Again, just mattifying powder, nothing to see here. My lifesaver as far as making my makeup look refreshed without having to redo it over. Next thing I have is the LA Colors Black Mascara. You guys can't even see where it used to say it because it's just been so used so much. It's actually in one of my like Bartel drugstore hauls. I think this is only like two bucks or three bucks or something. And I was just like needing mascara so I just decided to give it a try. You guys know me and mascara. It's a little chunky right now, but there is that. It's an actual brush, which I absolutely love. And I just like how it coats. It has its moments where it's a little bit like, uh, what happened? But all in all for two or three dollars, it is not bad. If you guys are needing just something real quick, if you guys forgot your mascara at home and you're needing a touch up, you can go ahead and get this at your local Bartels if you live in Washington. I'm not sure what other uh, drug stores they're available at, but there's that. The next thing that I have is also more on the higher end. I got this as a gift. This is a Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder Highlight 01. It's what it is. It's a little sample size there. It's beat up because this has been in my makeup collection for a while now. There is that. You can't necessarily, there it is. 
there it is. You can see that it's really, really baked. And I absolutely love how smooth this goes on. And just look how pigmented that is. Like, oh my goodness. Like, that is the highlight. And it swatches amazingly, as you guys can see there. And even if it comes in this little deluxe sample size, it look, it can last a while because it little bubbles up there, as you can see. Okay, the last little thing that I have are actually is actually the sponge. So as you guys know, I bought this from Walmart. It was two for like $2.98. And what you do is you go ahead and put your hands on here like this. And you go ahead and do your face wash like that. So as you guys know, I just got my Clarisonic from my parents' house from like October. So it's been a while. So I've been trying to see what I can use to wash my face. This, you guys, I have one in the shower right now. One over here um, in my bathroom. This is amazing in uh, spreading your face wash as well as washing your face. So I absolutely recommend it. And it's quite affordable. Again, I got this at Walmart. There's two. It comes in a two-pack for $2.98. I believe they have it in Target as well, but I could be wrong. So don't quote me on that. So on to the larger things. So traveling, you know that overpacking can kill and then also that changing outfits it's 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 a battle between having more outfits to to wear and packing light that's always going to be my relationship with traveling. Windbreakers have been my lifesaver since my trip in October, since my my recent trip in Ireland because it's just a great layering piece and then also it's very lightweight so when you pack it it goes down to like this much space, like not even like that much space. But I have here two of the windbreakers that I use and it's Columbia. They're wrinkled right now because I actually just took them out of my dry cleaning thing that I'm going to go ahead and take these to dry clean because they need to be cleaned. This is Columbia windbreaker there and then also comes in many colors. I got this one as well. I actually got this off Mercari which is a trading, selling, buying app on your phone. So um, the black one May gave it to me, which I absolutely treasure because these two have been a lifesaver as far as keeping me dry when it's raining, as well as providing me with multiple outfits I can wear it with, you know? Okay, on to the feet. You guys know that I thrifted these beautiful tan boots at Goodwill for like dirt cheap probably I don't know you guys can look through my videos and just see and they go with absolutely everything and you guys I wore these so much in Ireland I'm really sad that they're starting I scuffed them up a bit but they're so comfortable so versatile they can go with leggings jeans skirts anything and I just I just went to them all the time so it was yeah a really good investment on my part last but not least are my hunter boots <laughs> So they're quite dirty because of I didn't clean them. I need to clean them. But these are my hunter boots. They're silver. And you guys, these have seen so much of Ireland and Amsterdam. It's ridiculous. Larry got these for me for Valentine's Day. And um, they don't sell them. They sell hunters at Nordstrom. But they don't sell silver ones anymore or not that I know of at this moment but yeah he got them straight from the website Hunter's website so these have been a godsend the only thing that I um for my next upcoming purchase for Hunter's I'm gonna go ahead and try the Huntress because you guys know I got calves I got calves so these are like squeezing my calves just a little bit tight so I'm gonna try the 16.5 huntresses is what they're called where the width or the diameter of the the calves are a little bit bigger so yeah but these are amazing I absolutely love them uh, you'll see them in my vlogs for Ireland and Amsterdam that I wore these a ton all right well, that pretty much wraps it up for my favorites. Like I said, I don't do monthly favorites. I sometimes don't even do bi-monthly favorites. If I like it, I like it. I try and experiment, but then it just sometimes doesn't end very well. So I just, you know, I keep to it. So yeah well um i hope you guys like this video if you guys did go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos by me click the red subscribe button it would totally make my day and i will see you guys later bye
And you guys, I am going to be doing or trying to do a video a day for as long as I can. I haven't been utilizing my time as much as I have. I'm very disappointed in myself in certain aspects of that. But I want to take this time to make the videos that I've been wanting to make. And, you know, I've made lists of things that I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and try and hammer out, film, edit, um, and get you guys videos on the daily. So, um... Wish me luck on that. Again, not making any promises, but that is my goal that I set for myself. Oh, also, I have my vlog channel down below, linked always if you guys want to check it out. I've just been hammering those videos out as well. Currently working on my South Africa video as well as my Valentine's Day Stephen, blah, blah, my Valentine's Day in Stephen's past video. So um, I'm working on multiple things right now because I have a lot of time. So I need to utilize it and get stuff done. Hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.